שלום everybody, this is Rabbi Yitzhak Shapira from Ahavat Anmi Ministries. Um, I wanted to take a moment and share with you what happened in this trip here in uh, Santo Domingo in Dominican Republic. Share with you about a miracle that took place you know, we are talking a lot about miracles. Sometimes we think something we say it's a miracle, but I want to share with you a visible miracle. When I mean a visible miracle, it's like a miracle that I could not have orchestrated um, that took place. Before I discuss what happened today, I want to share with you about the miracle that has actually taken place. First, let me bless the Lord for the miracles that He does for His people. So here we go. Let me share with you the story of a visible miracle. I hope He will share it, and I hope that this miracle will encourage a lot of people Yesterday, we had the march here in the Dominican Republic, a march that put by my students, Manny Valera and Iris Toro in the Dominican Republic. The march has brought 6,000 plus people. It has been the largest gathering march on record in the Americas. One of the things that we have done during the march is we wanted to dedicate the nation to the Lord. Last time I was here, I had a chance to meet with the largest church in town, in the country maybe, with membership of over 5,000 over 5,000 members. The name of the church, Machanaim. When they found out I'm a Messianic rabbi, they said, we're not interested. The Messianics have brought troubles and calamity into the Dominican Republic. They didn't understand the difference between Messianic Judaism and the Hebrew roots faith. Upon meeting with them, the pastor heart completely changed and turned. And he invited me to speak as a Messianic Jew in the largest church in the Dominican Republic. This man is like the father figure for all the churches here. The, the name of the church is Machanaim, which means setting up a campground. Upon much prayer, after the Spirit of God has moved in a supernatural way in their services, I decided to do something special in this trip. Because of your support, your partnership, and your belief, we donated a Torah scroll to Machanaim, not a scroll, a parchment from the book of Leviticus, chapter 9, Parashat Shmini. Please pay attention to what I am about to tell you. Yesterday, I decided to surprise this grandfather figure to all the churches in the Dominican Republic and dedicated this piece of parchment on behalf of six million Jews to Machanaim, meaning a campground, a place where God is going to build and establish his camp right there on the way up to Jerusalem. When I gave him this parchment, I invited every pastor from the Dominican Republic March to join me on stage. Roughly 50 pastors came forward. The passage talk about the eight day where the glory of God has been pouring upon the house of Israel. The number of six is the number of men. The number of seven 
is a completion. And the number eight is the number of the supernatural. Earlier this morning, I gave a message about the violin of the Messiah and the eight strings of the violin of the Messiah. Nevertheless, I continue forward, life were touch, and we gave an offer to dedicate 50 houses of worship with a mezuzah in their doors. 50 pastors stood up and say, I want to dedicate this house to the God of Israel. Please financially support us so that we will be able to now put 50 mezuzot on the doorpost of 50 churches as they started the journey into Exodus. You wonder what is the big deal? What is the miracle? You see, Haverim, God timing and God appointed times is perfect. When I finished the march yesterday, Right as the sun was down, I said, Oh my God, I didn't realize what we have done. As I count the Omer, I count the Omer for the ninth day, and I realize what God has done. The day we give in, the parchment to the entire nation of the Dominican Republic was on the eighth day of the counting of the Omer, exactly on the Parashat Shmini, which means number eight. God aligned the time and giving this parchment on Parashat Shmini on the eighth day of the counting of the Omer. How do I know that the counting of the Omer that we Jews do is correct? Because God lined it up. I want to tell you something. I wish I could have taken the credit for this, but I didn't plan for this, friends. This has happening by the hand of God. God is lining up the times and the seasons with the nation. And I realized that what have happened, God glory is about to be poured out on the nation. And he wanted to affirming the nation on the message of the eight day as they build a machanaim, a camp for Yeshua in his return to Zion. Chaverim, we as Messianic believers called now to move to a higher ground, a sign time where we will see signs, we will see wonders, we will see miracles. Today, I had a chance to have the two of the most important meetings that I've ever had in the Caribbean and in South America. I met the head bishop who is responsible for over 1,100 Christian churches. We talk about reconciliation, and I gave him the gospel as a Jew who come to share the good news to the nations. The man was so deeply moved, the number one in charge of all those churches, that he promised to work with us to help us and start the path of reconciliation for 1,100 churches. Our plans is to give scholarships to 1,100 churches. I have no idea how am I going to pay for this and what do I'm going to do, but I know that he's going to turn the entire nation right now. Can you imagine? All 1100 churches want to be restored to the roots of their faith. This is the season. I gave him the parchment and I gave him the message of the good news. I could start seeing tears in his eyes as he hugged me. And he says, Rabbi Shapira, we are committed for this. Please 
understand that this is a miracle. From there, we continue the journey to meet the special advisor to the president of the country. And we spoke about the alignment of time. And he gave one of the greatest sermons in five minutes I've ever heard. Just how empty the church is. Just how much they need to return to the roots. How much he need to see the government and the church returned to the roots. And he is committed to help us not just nationally, but internationally. To bring the yeshiva, to bring this program to 11 hundred churches beloved he wants it in every seminary he want us to he want them to they want us to help them to change their roots and the miracle that happened on the eighth day of the omer is a clear and a visible miracle for this last day why am i sharing this with you because I had nothing to do with this. I could have never orchestrated to give the parchments on Parashat Shmini on the eighth day of the honor. It is God and God alone who deserve the honor and the glory. And I give him thanks. And I give him honor. Because he's gone before the Messianic Jewish movement in signs and wonders and his miracle god has given me a word that now is the season that god has started the exodus of the nations please understand that i met with many messianic groups here in town none of them were messianic the wall were hebrew roots and in some case, they rejected the divinity of the Messiah. They rejected the virgin birth. And they were well on the way. They were well on the way to reject the Messiah like a giant plague. When the Christians saw that, they understood that that is Messianic Judaism. I issue a repentance. And I said, let us rectify it. The real, authentic, messianic faith is true. It is honest and it is real. Please help me to bring messianic Judaism here to your nation. Will you partner with us on a national level? Please pray. They have invited us now to a gathering a consortium with the top national Christian leaders in the entire nation as they want us to present for them a case for Messianic Judaism as we start this national reconciliation with over 12 Hundred, over 1,100, excuse me, churches just in the Dominican Republic. The Spirit of God is doing something that I can never have anticipated. I know that the special advisor also wanted to talk to the president. Yes, we've spoken about the embassy. Yes, we've spoken about things I cannot share with you right at this point yet. I am telling you that these things are going to change the nations and it is going to change Zion for all eternity. How did this happen? How did this came about? One student that I had was responsible to start this revival. And now the nation is being changed and being transformed forever nationally. You can be this one person who can change the nation and can change the world forever. Thank you, Lord, for my students. Thank you for Iris. 
Thank you for Manny. Thank you for Oscar. Thank you for Pastor Matt. Thank you for all of those precious, precious students who put this effort forward so that I will be able to walk straight to the president of the nation, to the head of the entire Christian coalition, and to be able to give him the gospel. I have never experienced in my life as the minister of the good news this level of miracles and favor. This is prophetic. We must understand the time. I am not joking with you when I say we will give 1100 scholarships as the nation will turn. We need your prayer. We need your financial commitment and support today. Money cannot stop what God is doing right now. This weekend, we stood among them in Africa in front of the Lambas. And Pastor Matt was there to all the very first seder, very first real Shabbat service. And they wrote me, they said, we are changed. We are transformed. This is not just the Gentiles. This is also Jews. The fullness of the Jews and the fullness of the Gentiles happening right in front of our eyes at the same time. The reports of what happened here when 6,000 people marched, gotten to Puerto Rico, El Salvador, Mexico, and Colombia. Pray for Colombia. Pray for our, for our, for our remnant Congress, where the, the Jews, Orthodox, Messianics, all coming together. For the first time, today, I issue an invitation to the head of the Christian coalition in Dominican Republic to come as my special guest. Are you hearing what I am telling you? God reconciling those things that have been unreconciled for 2,000 years. Years and he's doing it through Parashat Shmini, to the eighth day of the Omer, through the supernatural. Remember what I tell you? This is a supernatural move of God. It says in Isaiah 2 2, Unaru Amim, the nation will return like a river. And they want to come inside the river, but they don't want to drown. Messianic Judaism will offer them a lifeboat to go inside the river up to Jerusalem without being drowning, without drowning. Please understand that they are ready. But they said to me today, we do not want Hebrew roots. We want Jewish roots. We don't want craziness. We want the authenticity. So now we are getting ready to launch this in every seminary in the world. And there is now a final meeting that is going to be scheduled. They ask for it to be urgently as soon as possible. As soon as I can return to the island, pray for me. My health has not been 100%. I have been traveling a lot. And there's been so many forces who try to stop this work. But they will not succeed. They will not, they will not be able to surpass the power of the Messiah. This is going to happen and happening in Africa, 
in Asia, in Europe, and in South America. If you are in Orlando, in Florida area, please come this weekend. I am going to be teaching full day on Shabbat in Orlando. If you're anywhere in Florida, come and visit with me. You hear my phone ringing. That's mean that I have to go to teach right now. They are waiting for me to give the final message. I bless you. And I hope this miracle that I share with you today, I, I don't want to sensationalize it. I want to give you the message in its entirety and truthfulness. Pastor Manny Valera, I restore Herman, all were with me, and we all experienced today a miracle after miracle. Please believe with me that Messianic Judaism is for here, today, and now. God bless you. I need you to believe with us, support us, not just in words, because the financial commitment is going to be gigantic forward. I will not let money stop this work. You will support us. I know you will. You are standing with us. You are a partner. And believe that this is the season. Thank you for uh, taking a few moments of your precious time to listen to my heart and to listen to this report. I bless you. And you hear I'm very emotional about this. Because when you see God working like this on the eighth day of the Omer, now we are getting ready to the tenth day, but on the eighth day, you give him thanks. So I give thanks to Hashem and I give thanks to you. Thank you for taking the time. If you're blessed, please share this report. God bless you. Very little.